Yeah. So that surprised you because it's the first time you got to sit next to him. It was the last time you seen me fight somebody that's five foot nine. The whole division's taller than me. They always been. You know, it never stopped me from putting them down on the canvas. So, um, you know, size is one thing, but when you talk about skill set, you talk about explosion, you talk about IQ, you talk about just experience of fighting at the highest level. Um, size is one component, but you got to be able to use that size and know how to have the target there to hit in the first place. So, um, I think he has a larger welterweight. He has some part, um, some power behind his punch. But so did Robbie Lawler. So, did, you know, a lot of guys I fought in the past, Paul Daly, these guys always uh, packed a big punch. So I'm excited about the challenge. Very worthy opponent. Young, spunky, want the title real bad. And um, he's going to make me train, man. I'm going to train like a damn maniac. He, uh, he was in here earlier and he said that he, he saw some doubt in your eyes. He didn't see a fucking look of doubt. You know that. He said it. He said, oh, so you want to fight? He didn't see no doubt in my eye. And I didn't see no doubt in his eye. And that's okay. You shouldn't have any doubt. He should believe he can me. He should believe he's the best in the world. Otherwise, you're in the wrong business. It's too hard of a sport. Too many hours of training, years of dedication. You know, he saw zero doubt and he knows that. And that's why that's why he kind of was getting on the ante. And, you know, I like that. You know, last time I saw that when I fought Terrence Affinity in Strike Force, he looked at me and I'm like, this motherfucker coming to fight tomorrow. And um, that's what I felt when I got the shutdown. down. And um, I embrace it. Let's do it. I was going to ask you that because afterwards, it seemed like you were almost more excited for the fight. Oh, I'm way more excited. Like, I said, I told my coach, I said, let's go, let's go train right now. You know, I asked the UFC, hey, I want to tra- bring my coach, I want to train in the back. Find me some mats. You know, I watch these fights on the TV. It's just, it sometimes it just takes that young fighter that reminds you so much of yourself. When I was that hungry guy calling out everybody to just relight that flame. You know, um, our sport has a way of just being teeter-totter, and our fans are up and down, and, you know, sometimes the emotion can get taken out, you know. Sometimes the politics is too much. See, back to the weight-cutting thing. You see, Till has to make weight. Do we even know that he can make weight for this fight? Um, Again, I find it real interesting that Till and Woodley both agree that this dude isn't going to make it at welterweight. He's not. He probably has two fights, like Woodley said, and Till said three, I think, right? Three fights at well to wait, and then it's a wrap. Which leads me to speculate that this dude is going to run through the middleweight division like nobody else. But then you have to speculate even more. How well is he going to do against an an all-American wrestler like uh, Chris Weidman? How is he going to do against Luke Rockhold if Rockhold stays at middleweight? Never mind those two. What about Yoel Romero, the man of steel? Those people aren't easy to beat. And let's not forget, Till is big for welterweight. I'm guessing once he gets to middleweight, he's going to fit right in. But those guys are jacked. Those guys are huge too. Like, they're not small dudes. They all walk around at two something. You see, so whatever advantages he has at middleweight, at, at our welterweight, will clearly be non-existent at middleweight in terms of size. In terms of skill, he could be one of the best strikers at middleweight. I might be forgetting a few names. But I don't I don't think... Maybe he can outstrike Robert Whittaker. I, I don't see that happening. I will say this. Robert Whittaker's last performance was against Yoel Romero. I will forever... I will forever label that fight a draw. Um, I will say this. Robert Whittaker's striking is no joke. Yeah, it might not be as technical as Wonder Boy's striking, but it's as effective and as probably as painful as any other striker. I don't know, man. This is going to be a very interesting match. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I am out. How do you feel about it? Yeah, Conor McGregor, you're taking everything I work for, my I'm going to fight you. You know what's the real fight? What's the real money fight? is me, not these clowns that you already punked at the press conference. Don't no one want to see that. You know you beat them already. That's the easy fight. You want that real right here. Hey, and I'm not. Unfortunately, we can't talk like that on Fox.